What's up Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime bringing you a new edition of Gundam Models. And today I am going to build the 144 scale Gundam Astray Blue Frame 2nd L from the Gundam Seed, um, you could say MSV series. But this one is a special type of MSV uh, Astray uh, suit. Uh, they've came out, they've come out with this kit a while back, a few months ago, and of course they made uh, this special edition one, which is an exclusive that I picked up at the New Jer at the New York Comic Con show th this past October. Uh, the normal price range for this kit is around roughly twenty dollars, but this one cost me thirty five because it has the special edition of being part metallic and part clear. I've al I've always um, been fond of getting some exclusive kits that uh, it's kind of hard to get these days. You know, you could pretty much get them uh, either way. Um, sometimes uh, you have to pay a little bit more. You may have to know somebody in Japan to send it to you. But those uh, places that um, that only is sold at specific locations that you cannot get unless you go to Japan, it's kind it's kind of you know difficult to get. I was kind of glad that this was uh, um, being offered at the Bluefin distribution in the uh, Bandai section of Comic-Con. This along with the pink bear guy and the um, green version or the green frame version of the Unicorn Gundam which unfortunately I missed out and I should have gotten. Um, but that doesn't matter. It, uh, this one was kind of cool and uh, I've been asked by many people if I was going to get the blue frame. I was but at the, at the last minute I decided not to but seeing this said all right now now this piqued my interest now this is going to be a straight build this is no painted job whatsoever even though i know for a fact that there are certain elements of the parts that when you cut them off from the tree it will leave the uh, scar marks here and there we're going to see what we can do to bypass these and try to clean them up as best as possible so this is a, basically a straight build no painting whatsoever we may have to do a little cheating here and there but let's see what we can do so let's open up this kit and see what we have to work with. Oh, and by the way, um, I kind of like the faded blue that's on this. The faded blue is all over the place, as you can see here. Um, there is no indication of how much this is worth, so clearly it's, uh, like, you know, the exclusive isn't mentioned. So here is what it looks like. Nice, shiny blue parts. Kind of like a titanium version, you could say. Yeah, this is really nice. Here's some the hands, the chest part, some of the arms. I'm assuming this is the sword, the portion of the sword, so that one's there. Here's another section. And so you know, the process of this is the same thing as they do with every, any other mold. They just mold it normally. The only difference is that then they, they coat it with this, this metallic look to it, which Looks really nice. They're really nice. So that was the metallic, and I see another metallic here. So this is all the metallic blue that you see here. And there's a stand, which of course is to hold the sword. The next tray here, and I see some stickers. So stickers that are probably used for the other parts that needs probably needs to be painted white. Surprisingly. If you're going to do metallic, why not make metallic stickers? That's just a thought. Okay, so I see some clear orange, which is nice. And then I see the poly caps are all blue. And then these are all dark. This is a black. It's the first time I've seen black colored parts. It's always either a dark charcoal or, or whatever, but this one is... Wow. The darkest black colors I've ever seen. Interesting. The next tray, of course, is all the clear parts. So this is kind of cool, seeing these clear parts. Um, they also you offer these unique decals here to, custom, you know, to detail up your um, um, your uh, blue frame. Don't know if this was on the original blue frame. I'll ask Prime about that later. On. And then here are more black parts. Wow, pretty interesting. This is going to be an interesting kit to build. And then I have a pamphlet here. 
don't know what that means, but what, what it says. Maybe somebody can fill in the blanks for me. Oh, you know what? Based on what I'm looking for, it could be one of those missing parts section, but then again, you will find it in, in, in this manual here. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll review that later on. Let's just look at the manual and see what we have to work with. Just hang on a second while I position the, uh, the camera. So, we'll open up to the inside of the page where we begin the construction. Here is the the locate, you know, the uh, detailed information on all the uh, all the parts. I see a lot of X's on the poly caps, so we don't need to use a lot of poly caps. However, I am noticing here in this section that some of the parts has been specifically designed where you have to cut them in a spe specific angle and cut off the parts in another angle so that way you don't damage the paint job. Really? I didn't notice that. Let me pull out the blues for a second. I don't see that here and here, but this one is in reference to the chest part, I believe. Yeah, I see this one, this one, and this one. And this one as well. But I don't see it for the rest. Maybe once I cut them, they're covered up with something else and it's not noticeable. Hmm. This is interesting. I can tell here that even though you can cut this, it may be covered up with another part. We'll explore that later on. Alright, so on this page we'll have the... Uh, it details the construction and the assembly of the torso unit. Followed by what I believe is the head unit. Yeah, it's the head unit. And then the assembly of the arms. I see some decals that need to be put... Uh, stickers that need to be put on. Continue with the arms, shoulders, and hands. And then the leg assembly. Followed by the waist unit, then the assembly of the, the, the entire kit, and then I guess this is where the um, the backpack slash big uh, blade slash gantling gun is assembled and then placed on this kit. And then we'll go into the, this part portion of the section where how to put up, how to set up the kit, how to use specific parts. I see here. Let's see some katana blades, that how you want to put them on this kit, how to take the shield off, how to assemble it as the sword, and how to position the suit with the sword and with the Gatling gun as well. And then here is a detailed information on what the kit looks like, fully painted. Of course, this they've used, they didn't decide to make, take another manual and redo it again to show off what it will look like clear and, and metallic. So this is pretty much you know the same uh, manual from the uh, from the original Master Grade kit. So yeah, I I've, I'm going to tell you something. I've never built a stray kits other than the regular one one hundred scale no grade red frame astray, which I no longer have anymore. And I liked it pretty much at the time. It's a shame I parted it, parted with it. But I never got any other Astray kits. This is uh, my second. This is actually my first high grade Astray kit. And then of course I have the Red Frame, which I'll build uh, sometime soon. Anyway, let's stop. Uh, let me stop yapping and begin building Gundam Astray Blue Frame Second L Metallic. Okay, so here are all the parts for my Gundam Astray Blue Frame Second L um, exclusive kit that I picked up from Comic-Con. And uh, here are all the interestingly clear parts. Wow. Very good. You know what? I cannot uh, There's a lot of cool detail inside, but with the inside showing inside of it, 
there's an extra layer of detail that you don't normally see. Very nice. And of course, looking at all of this is like so shiny. Look how shiny it is. I like that. Like, look at this. Something I, I can't seem to replicate on my current kits with with Alcat paint and uh, and uh, um, or to, or uh, uh, Mr. Hobby paints. It has a, that that very very nice smooth coat on it. Very nice. Uh, it's something that I want to figure out on how to do this for real. And then, of course, here are all the black parts. Again, I haven't seen black parts. I haven't seen parts that have been painted, that has been uh, um, molded in black in a long time. I can't even remember the last time I saw something like that. And then here are the few um, orange parts, which is pretty nice. I kind of like these orange parts. So that's it. And then, of course, here are the polycaps in blue. Very few of these parts will be used based on the manual that I saw here. Now, I wanted to actually focus on this. Now, obviously, you see some of the parts that I cut off here, there, which, of course, will be covered up with some of the clear parts. But there are other parts like this one here that, that shows off that needs to be cut. So what I'm going to do is... And right now I don't see it at arm's length. My hobby knife, I must have put it away someplace. I'm going to try to... Oh, here it is. I'm going to just lightly cut like this here. And there. And, um... I have a metallic marker, but the color of the metallic marker is a bit off. Not... It's too it's too light on, on compared to this one that's very nice and shiny. Um, I don't see myself um, painting or detailing this, even though I saw. I don't think it was McConnell man. I think it was Fujita. He showed off how to detail or clean up a a metallic coated part, and his idea was to just you know cut a little bit off this like I'm doing, then. Uh, using a little brush, painted, um, um, painted the um, silver, or or uh, or chrome, and then using the clear color of another part of you know another paint like clear blue, apply clear blue over it so that way it'll cover up, cover that up. An interesting feature, great break you know great way of doing this, but I don't see myself doing this. Now, this is just going to be a straight build so you guys can all see how how it looks like. Especially since a lot of these kits, there's a lot of exclusive kits out there that, uh, you know, that comes out in Japan. Clearly the most obvious one is the 7-Eleven. There's the A&A -A -A from the airlines that do their own version of this. And then, of course, there are other exclusives from from, uh, from the original gun, um, um, Beginner Gundam, I think it was called, Be Beginner Gunpla uh, series, not the Builder series that just ke recently came out. Um, so uh, you, you kind of like those type of uh, type of kits that are preset, and then of course you have the exclusive uh, all clear, metallic, gold plated, whatever. So oh, and then of course I should mend I should show off some of the other parts that, if you can see, all right. So there's the nub that I cut off. So all I need to do is do this, and that, and that. And there you go. Not that it doesn't show that much there, so that should clear up this part. So I'm going to spend the moment of cleaning up all these, and then we'll move on to assembly of the blue frame. 